We're at the Biological Sciences Greenhouse on top of Parking Garage K, West 12th Avenue on the main campus of The Ohio State University. We have 15,000 square feet of greenhouse space split between teaching and research areas and this room is our tropical conservatory. Last few years, we've kind of made a name for ourselves as being able to bloom several specimens of the Titan arum, which is a rare plant from the island of Sumatra in Indonesia, and it has one of the largest blooms in the world. Corpse flower is a common name for it. It earns that name by smelling like roadkill with a little bit of sauerkraut and Parmesan cheese thrown on top. There's been less than 200 blooms in the world since it was discovered in the late 1800s. Last year we had three blooms, and this year we're not anticipating any blooms since we had such a wonderful year last year because they need to take a rest period. So we're displaying a common relative called the voodoo lily, and this relative is one that a lot of people may be seen as a house plant, and they may have seen, oh, I have a titan arum, which is, this is like a mini-me of titan arum has that same structure of the flower, has that same odor, but it's a much smaller flower, very easy to grow, doesn't need have the same requirements that the Titan Arm does. The color is this deep, dark burgundy. The odor has the very same roadkill kind of odor. Um, all of that plays into attracting the pollinators. So having a dark color would make it look like a carcass um, or rotting meat and then that has that odor of it too because the pollinators are things like flesh flies, carrying beetles, um, other kinds of insects that would be attracted to a, a carcass. These will probably be blooming here in April. So the buds are still swelling up and then they get taller until that bloom gets to be a couple of feet tall. When the flower actually opens and you start to get that wonderful fragrance, it's about two to three days. And after that, the, the flower will then collapse and the, the, the smell is gone also. It will go back down into some dormancy for a short period of time and then a leaf stalk will emerge out. And that will last six months or so. So that's most of the time that you're growing the plant, you're actually gonna have the leaf structure of it and you're not gonna have flowers on it continually. You just get one flower a year. In the fall, if you bring it in, or if you lift it out of the pot, it will have lots of small little ones, and you can divide those out and send them to all your friends. Or enemies. <laughs>